Clonkarf Castle Hotel this evening for the constituency's debate in the Dublin, no Dublin Bay North uh, constituency. And with us are several of the TDs who are standing again. And uh, Tommy Bruin, who's an independent Labour uh, TD, Richard Bruton, who's Minister for Jobs, Enterprise and Employment, and who's, of course, a Fine Gael TD. Uh, we have Taras Flanagan, who's now with Renew, having been with um, Fine Gael, I think, in the last election. Uh, Finan McGrath, who's an independent TD, and Adrian O'Reardon, who's a uh, Labour Party and is junior minister. And we have with us also a, a whole host of, of candidates, uh, starting with Paul Clark, who's an independent TD. We have Deirdre Heaney, who's um, a, Fien a Fianna Fáil TD, or senior, sorry, not yet a Fianna Fáil TD, uh, a, a Fianna Fáil uh, candidate in the constituency. John Lyons, who's People Before Profit candidate. Uh, Michal McDonagher, who's a Sinn Féin candidate. Uh, Denise Mitchell, who's a Sinn Féin candidate. Michael O'Brien, People uh, Austerity Alliance, isn't that right, Michael? Um, uh, I'm sorry? Thank you for that clarification. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Nisho Murray, who's a Fine, Fine Gael candidate, Avril Power, who was with Fianna Fáil, but now standing in the election as an independent candidate, and Stephanie Regan, who is also a Fine Gael candidate. Um, we'll uh, get to all of those in, in a moment. We all have, by the way, several uh, candidates in the constituency who are standing in the constituency, or rather who will or who expect to be standing in the election are with us as well. But to go for a profile of the constituency is Michael Fitzgerald of Dublin City FM. Michael. Good evening, Vincent, and uh, welcome to Clontoff. Uh, Dublin Bay North, it hasn't existed before. Essentially, it's an amalgam of two constituencies, Dublin North Central and Dublin North East. The basics, it's a monstrosity, 150,000 in the electorate. Uh, it's the biggest electorate in Dublin. Not the biggest in the country, but the biggest in Dublin. We've never really had this before, so we don't quite know how it's going to play out. Uh, I divide the constituency in the, into austerity and, pos uh, and prosperity, because there are people in this part of the world who are doing quite well. But the dirty little secret of the area, which I'm sure you all want to know, uh, is Dublin Bay North, uh, Dublin Northeast, in the history of the state, has never returned a female TD. We are hoping that that is going to make history this time round. Uh, I've got to say, I know all the guys here, every one of them is a good bloke, but guys, you're all blokes. Uh, if, we, if equality of the 23rd of May means anything, we are going to change that this time around. Uh, when I talk about austerity, uh, the reason why I raise that is because austerity does tend to uh, disproportionately affect women, and austerity is, uh, austerity is disproportionately affecting this area, and I wouldn't want to underestimate anybody to underestimate. There are people in this part of the world that are squillionaires. There's no question about that that are doing very, very well and are probably doing better than they were five years ago, and there are other people who are seriously hurting. Now, do the, uh, do the politicians understand that? I know for a fact that the electorate do. So what are the issues in this part of the world? Well, to me... The one issue is gender. It transcends absolutely everything. It affects every other issue that is raised. If we look at it, uh, I've broken it down into three, and that is security. Uh, security, whether it's security of tenure, whether it's security of employment, security of health services, that disproportionately affects women. Trust is a major issue in here as well, is that people generally do not trust government, they do not trust the political class. And that is going to be a major issue as to who gets elected here. And the last one, which came up a lot in the last time round, was fairness. Now we heard a great deal about political reform and a whole range of things about fairness and sharing the burden and all of that. The electorate here will decide how that is. But Vincent, this is Dublin Bay uh, North. We don't know how it's going to turn out, but I think it's going to be really interesting. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> we take an early ad break uh, now, and afterwards we get into the debate. So join us then. <laughs> 